This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an overview of Adobe Audition. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to move a sequence from Premiere into Audition and then back into Premiere. How do we do it in Premiere? I have the exact same drama in Premiere. Again, sync wild sound dialogue. I've got the dog barking, I've got the clock ticking, and I've got the music clip. How do we send it to Audition? With the timeline selected, go to Edit, Edit an Adobe Audition Sequence. We can give it a name. Notice here where it says Audio Handles. This defaults to one second, but you want to definitely do more than one second. Handles in audio are the same as handles in video. It's how we do transitions. You want to make this at least five and ideally ten seconds because that way you've got some extra audio to work with should you need it and click OK. Now, several things happen at once. Adobe starts Audition. It loads the files into Audition and it creates a very low resolution screener that loads up into the video dialog. And as I move back and forth, I can see my drama the same as I could when I loaded the project from Final Cut. You don't ever need high quality here. You just want to be able to see what's happening so you can time a sound effect. And now we're ready to start editing. The mix is complete. It's ready to go. How do we get it into Premiere? Or how do we get it into Final Cut? Glad you asked that question. You go up to Multitrack, go down to Export to Premiere Pro. That's one option, but I don't recommend it. And the reason I don't recommend it is it is impossible to determine whether your audio meets technical specs by sending it to Premiere. Instead, whether I'm going to Premiere or going to Final Cut, I always follow the same procedure. So how do I export? File, Export, Multitrack, Mixdown, Entire Session. I key it to Command-E. This opens up this dialog. I'm going to call this the Drama Mix because it is. I'm going to store it to the desktop because I'm going to trash it when this webinar is over. Wave is the perfect choice. AIF is also good. AIF and Wave have the same audio data, just a different header. Video must always be 48K, Premiere Final Cut 48K always all the time. 16-bit, also an excellent choice. And Stereo. And notice I've got Open Files After Export checked and click OK and in just a few seconds, it's got everything exported. Here's why I export it. There's my mix. I'm going to double click it to load it up into the waveform editor. And we can see there's a lot of sound here, a lot of different spikes, dialogue, music, sound effects. Here's why I do this. Go up to the window menu and select Amplitude Statistics. Amplitude Statistics does a technical analysis of my clip. Click Scan Selection, and in just a second it says the loudest this peaks is negative 4. You want to make sure you have no clip samples, which means no distortion. It shows that my average sound is negative 19, so it's a little bit quiet. I would go back and pull the dialog up, probably about 3 dB to make the dialog a little louder because this says that I'm a little bit below my LKFS setting. LUFS and LKFS is the same thing. Why should they use the same term? But it shows me that there's no distortion and I'm well within the boundaries I need to be with the mix. Because I've got this analysis which doesn't exist in Final Cut and doesn't exist in Premiere, it verifies that technically my audio file is ready to go. Let's pretend, hypothetically, that this is ready to go. I'll just pull it up 3 dB by clicking here. Now when I analyze it again, okay, my LKFS is close enough that I'm not going to worry about it. I'm still negative below zero. I'm good to go. Save the file, Command-S. Now we'll get out of Audition, go back to Premiere, Command-I to import. There is our mix. Where'd it go? I'm looking for a WAV file. Right there, Drama Mix, Import. There's our Drama Mix. I've got a spare track that I put right down here. Drop it into the track, make sure it's all the way over. Mute all the other tracks. 
and I now have a fully in sync, fully mixed, incredibly brilliant drama. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 294. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.